Hi! Welcome to Pulp Anime, the channel where I teach you how to make anime all by yourself. And today I'll be showing you how to create your own animatic for your show or movie, and how you can do it completely for free using AI. But before we begin, let's just talk about why do you even need to make an animatic in the first place. If you have some prior experience with shooting and editing videos, it might sound a little bit strange to you. Why should you edit your entire video before you even begin to produce it? Well, the funny thing about animation is that the entire process goes completely backwards from what you would normally do in regular live-action productions. Normally when you make a movie, first of all you need to shoot a lot of footage of your actors and get a lot of coverage and different takes that you can choose from later. And when you get to the editing stage, you have a variety of different takes and angles that you can choose from. And then you can play around with them and try to make it all work together in your edit. And if it doesn't work, you can always recut and re-edit your footage. And you can basically do it again and again until you get a better result. But unfortunately, with animation you don't really have that privilege. Once you animate your shots, you are pretty much stuck with them. If you are paying people to animate a lot of different takes that you wouldn't even show in your final product, then you're basically burning your money. Or in my case, if you are animating everything alone, you will just burn a lot of time and energy for no reason. So this is why before you even begin animating, it is best to experiment with editing your movie using placeholder images that will represent the final shots of your video. Or in other words, creating an animatic. So now that we're on the same page on why you even need an animatic in the first place, let's talk about how you can generate your placeholder images completely for free. In my previous video that I've made about how to make your own anime, I've explained my process of using Google Images to create my animatics for my show. But today I have found an even better method that allows me to make my own custom placeholder images for free, and I'm actually doing it by using AI. As you probably know, there are a lot of AI art generators out there that can create amazing images from single text prompts. But my favorite service to use for generating my animatics is called Playground AI. And the reason that I prefer this service over any other one out there is because it is super easy to access from their website. Also you get to play around with a lot of their pre-made presets and have a lot of options to tweak and to customize your images. But the best reason to use this AI is that you get to enjoy their extremely generous free plan that allows you to generate 1000 free images per day. So if you want to try Playground AI for yourself, I've actually added a link to it in the description. So go ahead and play with it, and if you are ready to continue, it is now time to show you how you can actually use it to create your own animatics. So first of all, after entering their website and signing in with your Google account, you'll be able to see a lot of AI image generations that other people have made previously. But in order to create your own, simply click on the Create button in the top right corner. Then you can immediately start generating images by entering your text prompts on the left side of the screen. But before we'll do that, let's go over some settings. First of all, in the top right corner you can select the AI model that you want to use to generate your images. If you are using the free plan like me, you'll only have access to their stable diffusion models and Playground's custom model. I'll stick with Playground's model for this video, but you can use one of the stable diffusion models if you prefer. Now, beneath it you can set your image dimensions and play with the quality and detail settings. I would suggest you to pause this video and to copy the settings that I'm using. Because if you'll increase yours to anything higher than that, you'll simply have a more limited amount of free high-quality image generations. In other words, if you want to get your free 1000 images per day, you got to lower the quality. By the way, if you'll go to the left side of your screen, you can choose different filters that you want the AI to use for your image. This is basically a more streamlined and simple way to choose the style of your generated image. I'm gonna leave mine on none, because I actually prefer to describe the style by myself. So now after everything is set, we can go ahead and enter our text prompts. Let's say for example, that I want to create a shot of Laura and Carmilla walking in a hallway. This shot is important for me because it will establish the location of their next scene. So all I need to do is to describe what I want to see in the image. For example, for this particular shot I will enter the next prompt. A blonde and a dark-haired Victorian woman standing in a corridor at night. Then, it is time to describe the style that I want to use for the image. So I will simply add the prompt, anime key visual. And now, let's click on generate. As you can see, Playground immediately generated four different images based on my text prompt. And if you are not happy with any of the four images, you can simply click on Generate again. And if you still don't like anything at all, you can go ahead and revise your text prompt until you get something more close to what you were looking for. But in general, I would suggest for you to not spend too much time on it. Because after all, you are not trying to generate your final product here. These are just placeholder images for your animatic, and at the end of the day you are the only one who will be able to see them. So as long as they reflect the composition and the mood that you are imagining in your head, I think it is definitely good enough. Once I've generated all of my shots, I usually edit them with the music, sound effects, and the voiceovers of the characters. 
And if you want to learn how to generate high-quality voiceovers with AI, you are more than welcome to watch my previous video that I've made on this subject. And after I am done with this process I get something very similar to the final cut of my video. Only with placeholder images that I will later replace with the final animations. So now, let's actually see how the animatic looks like compared to the final animations in the scene that we just used as an example. Do you think that you will ever confide fully in me? You won't answer that? The time is very near when you shall know everything. You will think me cruel, very selfish, but love is always selfish, the more ardent, the more selfish. So yeah, this is basically how you can create your own animatics using AI. So if you've enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like or a comment below. And subscribe to the channel if you want to support the creation of more videos like this in the future. See you later!